2009, the UPDF sent 2,000 soldiers to the Central African Republic to capture the leader of the Lord's Resistance Army rebels, Joseph Kony. The UPDF's incursion into the foreign territory in pursuit of the LRA began more than a decade ago in South Sudan. In 2008, the army dispatched troops to the Garamba National Park in the Democratic Republic of Congo. A year later, the UPDF entered the Central African Republic, a vast country that's three times the size of Uganda with a population of just 4 million people. The commander of the African Union Regional Task Force Brigadier Sam Kavuma says the LRA rebels committed lots of atrocities in communities they found along their way to the Central African Republic. Abduction of people, killing, rooting, terrorizing people. Brigadier Kavumia says the UPDF's entry into the Central African Republic attracted sharp criticism from the countries around the region. Then Uganda said, well, now if you think we are here for other agendas, then we can as well go back. The African Union authorized Uganda to track the LRA rebels in the Central African Republic after cases of mutilation and killings by the rebels increased. LRA always takes advantage of the weaknesses in the region. Wherever they, they knew there was a, a weakness in maybe leadership, in structures, in systems, they would take advantage. That's why when they were in northern Uganda, they used to come to. When they knew SPRA was not in support, then they had to come to Congo. It was then resolved that over 5,000 troops be deployed to pursue Kony. Uganda deployed 2,000 troops and the other countries such as Democratic Republic of Congo, Central African Republic and also South Sudan deployed 500 soldiers. However, the UPDF had to carry out the mission alone because other countries like the Central African Republic had to pull out due to internal political problems. Brigadier Sam Kavuma stresses that the UPDF is on the path of achieving their mission. The army's statistics show that abduction had reduced to 90% in the Central African Republic by 2011. They hardly get any reports of killings anymore. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, the presence of the rebels is said to be at 10%. The contingent commander, Colonel Michael Kabango, adds that the LRA is being weakened daily by the intelligence reports gathered from 2009 to 2014. Now 507 rebels have been killed, 86 have been captured, and 197 people defected, and 609 weapons were captured. That is grouped with about 50, the majority being women and children. Joseph Kony with his son uh, Salim is now come of age, we are told, as volatile as the father. So that is the first group. Their responsibility is command and control. They coordinate the activities of the rest of the groups. The UPDF has also been commended by some non-government organizations for restoring relative peace in the region. Well, I would say that Invisible Children's work, which spans all the areas that have been affected by the LRA, is to complement the efforts being made by security forces uh, who are working to arrest the top leadership and stop LRA violence um, by putting pressure on them. Our work is really to try to dismantle the LRA from within through defection programs, so come home messaging and helping equip communities in affected areas to receive LRA defectors peacefully. Lisa Delgan, the Central Africa Programs Manager and Policy Advisor at Invisible Children, is hopeful that the LRA will soon be wiped out given the number of defections. Here in Central African Republic over the last several months we've actually seen a lot of success, success stories. One of the biggest ones that we're most happy about and excited about was in December of last year there were 19 LRA members who peacefully defected uh, in a, a town called Zemio in southeastern Kar. Several of them were Ugandan LRA so they had been uh, within the LRA for you know, upwards of 10 years. For now the major difficulty in the hunt for the the fugitive LRA leader is the vast terrain and poor roads in the jungles. Maurice Chol, NTV.